Good evening folks and uh, I've got a bit of a special for you tonight. This is a Sharp VZ 3000 Vertical Music Centre. Uh, I got this from Jay of uh, from uh, Jay's Vintage Junk. Uh, thank you very much Jay. But I've been given it on a condition. And the condition basically stipulates I've got to do a video and show him how to change the belt. <laughs> and... Uh, because the belt, the belt on the record player has gone apparently. I haven't tried this yet. I'm going to try it all now. Jay told me to leave it for a couple of days, but uh, where's the fun in that? Yeah. Anyway, here it goes. So we, we've got it plugged in. We've got two speakers. We've got an aerial in, and there we go. Power on. Yeah, it's hitting. Let's try the radio. We'll start with the radio. That's auxiliary, that's FM, uh, FM mono we'll go for. Ooh, hey, we're getting FM. I would say so. This is an experiment that is not likely to be well, repeated again in my lifetime. That's the FM working. AM. One, and he's at two under par. That after dropping a shot earlier. Yeah. The lovely uh, chip in. Long wave. Yeah, let's see what we can get down the bottom end of the medium wave. Can't usually get anything down there. But we are doing the bulb, I think the bulb in the Dial point has blown. Anyway, that's the radio's working. Uh, let's go for the tape. Here's where my Johnny Mathis is. it Johnny Mathis this? Yeah, here's where my Johnny Mathis tape gets eaten. <laughs> you know what to say, folks. Nothing invention, nothing gained, eh? <coughs> well, that's all working. He said it was though, he said the tape and the radio was working the last time he tried it, so, you know, that's, uh, yeah, that's not, that, that's to be expected, so there we go, that's, yeah, and these under here, just loudness and stuff like that, stop that, alright, so that's the cassette working, now let's see what the deal is with the record player. Come on. It opens. Go. Now let's just pop a record in. We have to press close on these. Come on. Give it a hand up. There we go. I think there's a belt that drives that part, particular part of the mechanism. I'll have to have a look into that. Play. I've just stopped the damn thing. <laughs> Play. It was going over. I went and stopped it. Well, the, the, the tone arm's moving across. It's just dropped onto the record. Right. So let's press open and close. Well, the tone arm's moving. And it did drop onto the record and it's opening. So, I think the thing to do really is to just sort of like without further ado, uh, whip the back off and have a look into how the belt has changed. I did one years ago, but you know, it's been that long since I've been in one of these. I can't even remember. So unplug the aerial and everything. Unplug the speakers because I can't get them back off with them in. Oops. There we go. Pull the plug out for safety. There we go. Let's whip it round. I might, I might have to borrow a, I went and pulled my bloody speaker plug apart. I went and pulled the wires out of it. Yeah, I have. 
I'll just reconnect the wire back into that after. The shit those speaker plugs. There we go. Right, it gives you instructions on uh, how to take these apart. But uh, should we? Uh, uh, I think you start. You start basically by removing the screws. Be a good way to get into it, wouldn't it? I've already removed the screws from the door at the front. Uh, by the way, if you can't get a record out of one of these, if you put your screwdriver in there and press it, it'll actually release the door so you can get it open and get the record out. And that's how you get a record out of them if it's stuck. It's simple. At least it is when you know how. Anyway, let's see what we can do with this. Be nice to get this working. I fancy having this in my front room, actually, folks. It really appeals to me. You know, I like this. I had one of these years ago. I'll talk while I'm working. I had one years ago, and I bought it from a car boot sale in Withenshaw for a fiver. And I had the speakers as well. The original speakers for these were were uh, were silver with silver sides and silver fronts. And they actually they actually had a lip on them at the front there to match the system. Uh, they were purposely made to complement the system, and uh, they were a good set of speakers. In fact, the speakers the, spe the, the speakers were probably worth more than I paid for the unit. Now the idea of this is that uh, I'm hoping to find a belt in half, or it's probably turned back to uh, soft rubber. I don't know what I'm going to find. There might not even be a belt in here at all. I don't know what I'm going to find. But there again, the belt might simply have slipped off. I mean, I expected the cassettes not to work because of the uh, because of the belt because the belts might have perished, but they haven't. They work. They're there. It. It's only one cassette on this. The cassette is working absolutely lovely. There's a fair amount of dust in here. And that screw there doesn't want to give up the ghost, but it's going to. And a couple of these screws are fucking, I think one's longer than the rest of them. That's not a great issue at this point in time. Yeah. Get them back off. Yeah, I think the first company to make one of these VZ, one of these uh, vertical style music centres. Oh yeah, I just forgot. I'd forgotten how much is inside one of these, and how densely populated they are inside. But uh, and that's why I unplugged it because you've got all your mains around here, and your turntable is there. The turntable motor is here. And the belt is probably somewhere in half. I can't see it. Do you know it's been the years? And this is your output here. Nice big out heat sink for the output. Got a fuse for everything in here. This is your amp. It's uh, you got a. This is all to do your record deck. This board. It's got a big chip on there with a relay. Your mains down here, mains fuse. This is your radio and your cassette section. I do believe the bulb was blown in the radio because it should have a it should light up. Yeah, you can see where it goes up to there. That's not an issue at the moment. The main issue at the moment is uh, I'm, I'm going to have the same issue that Jay had, working out how to get the belt off, how to get into it to re to replace it, and I'm wondering. And do you know something? I'm wondering. Uh, let's put my finger in there a minute. Well, there's the turntable drive drum. And I think, uh, I'm just trying to think, it's got all got to come back to me, I'm afraid. But I think I know how it was done. I think the way you do it, 
I think the way you do it, you first of all do that to open the door. And I think I think if I remember rightly, and I don't remember rightly, I think you undo these four screws. I mean I can't see why you would have to take a whole thing to pieces just to replace the belt. And I can't remember how I did it the last time I did it, but I know I did one years ago. I do remember that, but I think what it is, I think the record player unit comes out through the front to allow you access. But the aim here is to do this without destroying it because I'm going to be as careful as I can I want to put this back together because I want to use it so right so let's get the let's get that up front open there we go and I don't think that you're getting to change the belt that way no, I thought it came out that way it doesn't uh, but what you do have to do I think uh, oh. I wish I had the service manual, for which I don't. Right. And I can't see you having to take the amp and everything out just to change the bloody belt. This could take some working out, this folks. Mm, this could take some serious working out. But I've got to do it, it's got to be done. Uh, see there's your there's your drive drum there there's your turntable there and you can see where the belt's missing I thought them gears were driven by a belt you know they're not it's true. I, I, I remember them from years ago but think the way into it I think the way I'm gonna go into it I think what I'm gonna do folks see I think the idea see there's the shaft of the motor I think the idea that's the shaft of the motor I'm trying to think I'm trying to feel if the belt's actually on there and just come off but I don't think it has no it hasn't it's missing but we're down inside there somewhere right basically I think I'm trying to work out how I did it years ago but you know when you have done something years ago and you come back to it years later is that the turntable there? No. No, that's a plate of some description. Oops. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's the turntable there. I'm wondering, I'm actually wondering, folks, if I remove the amp, I'm actually wondering if I just drop the amp, could I do it that way? Could I get into it that way? I mean... Just see if I can dr get, drop the amp out of the way. Because there's got to be a way into it, I mean. I mean. I mean, Sharp didn't make these to be serviced by the user. And, you know, whenever anything went wrong with these, it was usually just left. And then people like me ended up with them. Unplug that from the 
from the amp. Mind you, man, I need to allow anyway now. But that's. Tell you what, though, they were well made these. I mean, I think they were, I think they were brilliant. I mean, I, the one I had, I liked. And I only got rid of mine, I scrapped it because it developed a fault I couldn't fucking find. It just, some, something just happened. It was working and it just fucking, something just happened and it was somewhere in the fucking power supply, if I remember rightly. It developed a problem that I couldn't solve, so I got rid of it. Right, so we're, we're trying to, might take this bottom board here out as well. Right, well we're on, well we're on, well there's, there's the turntable. There's the turntable and there's the big amplifier, stereo amplifier chip, it's a, an STK 401, uh, 461 sorry, right, now basically what I need to do now is work out, right that's the motor that drives all in gears, this is the amp, this is the mold, this is the turn to, uh, I want to know where the original belt's gone. I need to know where the original belt's gone because it needs to come out of there if it's in there somewhere. I mean, it might just have come off and be lying around in there. Let's get one of these tools. Don't know. That's a weird one. Uh, do you have to take the whole thing out of the cabinet? I hope I fucking don't. You've got plugs up here and fucking plugs that go to that fucking board and it's a real fucking job doing this. Right. Hmm. I've got a feeling the whole fucking lot has to come out. That fucking radio board didn't have to come out, I think that was a screw missing wasn't it? Let's tighten that one up, but that doesn't have to fucking come out. There. Right, so basically I need to get into here. And I think the way you do it, because you've got to take this plate off here, there's a plate that with a fucking bearing on it runs that right down, so you've got to You've got to take the fucking thing apart, really. So here goes nothing. Let's just screw that amp back in. So I, I don't do anything to it. So I don't do any damage to the accidentally hurt the amp in any way. Put a couple of screws back in to just secure the amp. Because I don't want to do any damage. And... so we're not pressing against anything. The last thing we want to do is come back in and have to repair the amp because we caused a dry joint. So we don't want to have to come back into here. And when I say I'm going to borrow a belt off somewhere else in a bit, what I really mean by that is I'm going to steal a belt from somewhere else because there's no way on earth. I mean, why have they made it so difficult? For you to replace the belt. I mean, it's it's built into the design of the music centre, but you know, you'd have thought they'd have put a screw in each corner that should hold the amp securely while I work on getting in there to get the fucking belt out. 
you've got to you what basically what you've got to do you've got to you've got to take the fucking thing right out of the case I remember rightly so you have to start by unscrewing just everything really around the perimeter to start with Them screws are bigger than the rest, so we know I can't go anywhere else. Do 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 do, and that. There. Uh, I don't know whether it's ever been out before this, or so let's close that door for a minute. I'll probably have to take the platter. Uh, I think there's a fucking screw in there. Let's just close the door a minute. There we go. I think there's a screw down in the depth for there. Even though they were going to send the power lead through that, I do not know. But I can't get into there with that. Anyway, I've got a longer screwdriver. Yeah, I'm going to have to probably remove. This, uh, this is the power supply. Remove it anyway. Transformer. Them there. No, don't know what they are, so we'll pull them anyway. Yeah, it comes out. Oops. But these ones here. Transforming, I'm sure it's certain of it. It has a fairly hefty transformer in this, if I remember rightly. But basically, you've just got to take out. Let's bring the camera angle down a bit so you can see where I'm really up to. There we go. Right, you get a full view. I'm, I'm not sure, but these, oops, right. well that's your power supply, or well, near enough, let's I want to find out what's behind. Is there a screw behind that hole? Because and this has got to come apart carefully because I want to reuse this thing. Right, so if I pull the power supply out there, uh, right, power supply looks nice. Uh, trouble is you can't fucking unplug the damn thing so I've got to be careful there's a big hefty transformer there's your, there's your on off button there and your record deck is also secured by two fucking grommets I'm not sure if they're screwed in or if they're just fucking press fitting in I do not know at this point but I've got a feeling 
Look at the fucking size of the fucking capacitors in it. Right, let me turn it this way. Now let's get the record player open. to come out that way it can't come out the front let's take the front perspex off I loosened this earlier I say I loosened it I'm going to get a fucking thing off now there we are right. oops Fucking hell. You have to try and get your fucking fingers under it. Hang on. There we go. Now, what we need to do is just lift that off because that has to come off, you never get it out with that on. Man, if we can put that down there for safety. Man, I'll fucking get it out with this on. Uh, don't say we're gonna fucking take all that off. How the fuck is I think it comes out with it open? But you've got to get in there somehow. It's a big job to do a belt on one of these, and it's not for the faint. Oops, and it's not for the fucking faint-hearted. Well, it's just popped. Now there's no screw there now, so I'm certain I'm okay with that. So I can put the power supply back because there's no screw now. So I can put. I know there's no screws there, so I can put the power supply back. So we'll try and put the power supply back in if we fucking can. Basically, it came out, so it should just slip the way it came get in there does the on off button come through the front no it hasn't been really shut it hasn't been really well see that's part of the problem Getting that fucking on off button back through. Right. There we go. That's the on off button back through. Right. And make sure that they're all out of the way, nothing's trapped. Make sure that's, nothing's trapped there, we're okay. And this should, but it fucking doesn't want to, this should just push. into there. Oh there we are. There we go. Right, well we're not quite not quite where we need to be. We need to lift that up a bit because that needs to go up. There we go and then it's a good push back in. Try and be jerky it's going up. Right and that So if I push it and lift it, give it a jiggle. Right. Right, well the supply is in anyway. And I can put them screws back because it all comes out as a unit. So I can put a couple of these back.
I don't think we actually put any fucking screws in there anyway. Looks like one goes there, but I don't think it does. Because the... It's not actually out of water, not out of line or anything. It's, cause it's, the screws have gone in. It's not like it's twisted. And that's fully up here, so... Now, let's... I know you have to pull the knobs off. Cassette door has to be opened, I think. Knobs certainly have to come off, if I remember rightly. Close that a minute. You always get a fucking knob that doesn't want to move, don't you? Please. Oh no, don't be like that. If I can't get this knob off, I can't fucking do it. Get something behind it. Oh yeah, it's moving. coming it's taking its time <laughs> yes got it fucking hell you could have made that a bit easier for me sharp and these ones here have to come off all these have to come off it's all coming back to me now I did one 50 years ago and I didn't enjoy that one either but these have to come off. These are dead simple. Right. Always remember folks that, that knobs always have to come off. You know it's these are not, these machines are not for the faint hearted or those who, right well that's knobs off, that's, a, that's all that loose, is there any screws on the bottom, let's have a long quick look, yeah you see you've got two screws on the bottom here, that's a couple of more screws there, Yeah, because you've got to... I don't, think, I don't know if you take that out. I can't fucking remember if you can take that fucker out. It's been a while, folks. Yeah, you take that out. But these ones here... Fuck it. Hey, right, now I'm taking them out. I'll take them out because I'm getting out that long. These take them out. You have to be able to. But I've got a feeling that these are. I think they have to come out anyway, and I think this fucker at the bottom here comes out. bastard last one I fucking did but this all comes out but I know the door has to be, I'm pretty sure the door has to be open when it does come out right so so far we're still fucking tight in there 
We've undone these screws here, they're all undone. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, no, that, yeah. Fucking screws out the feet. Well, at least I think you do. Oh well. But you know, and this is the very reason why a lot of these things were scrapped because. Feet have fell off, it's no matter, it's on the floor. Pick it up in a minute. See, a lot of the see, they were scrapped because when the fucking belt failed, they were a bastard to do, and you had to send them in because it wasn't a fault you could do yourself. wasn't really something you could repair like your normal turntable you just pull the fucking platter off and swap the fucking belt not with these fuckers you weren't they weren't making that fucking they weren't making it that easy don't forget that fucker hiding up there and the one at the fucking bottom In a minute this all should fucking slide out. That's the whole idea. Let's get that cassette door open ready because I'm sure you have to have that open. I don't think you have to take anything out of there though, the cassette can fire. There's no screws around in there as far as I remember. But like I say I don't really remember because it's been years. Early 90s I took one of these apart. It didn't really make for an enjoyable experience, but now all the screws that I can think of. Well, that top's moving. The bottom ain't right. You got another screw in the front there. Everyone done. That's undone. There's none in there, that one's been taken out. That one was undone. Yeah, that's undone. Cassette doors open. So I don't understand why. I don't understand why. I don't know why it's putting up a fucking fight. I can't understand why it's putting up a fight. Mm. They're just screws there to protect the stylus, so you'd have to take them out. They're just for the protect the stylus. Right, 
nothing behind this rubber, there's not, nothing behind this rubber here is there, no screw, hidden screws behind that rubber, I wouldn't have thought so, I wouldn't have thought it would be in, no there is, no there's not because it all moves, it's all moving, it's just, Now in the front there. Oh, hang on. Oh, that one that you miss. I need to get the power lead. It's going to impede me getting the fucking thing apart. There we are. Now let's see where I've... Make sure I've got this one here. On that one. Yeah. And there's no more. I'm wondering, you know, if you fucking lie it down and it just slides out. Because it's been fucking years since I worked on one of these things. Oh, there are all the screws. Oh, all the screws from the bottom are out. And that's fucking locked that back up again. thing leave that open I mean you can't you can't get this out it is moving I mean look at that we've got that there there oops it is going but there's something fucking still holding it somewhere. There's something somewhere still holding it. But what? Yeah. Yeah. It's not that. 
Somewhere. Oh, I'm gone. Did I get that fucker there? I can't remember if I got him. Can't see with me. Can't see me missing that fucker. I'm fucking dead. Folks, I'll tell you what. Oh, that may phone. Fucking Facebook. I can wait. Right. Now, so there we are. That's what you do. Slowly, and the record deck. I think the record deck stays in, the cassette deck doesn't. Right. Right. Ooh, I'll tell you what, folks. Just take the tension off some of these wires and we'll unplug that That's to the pickup. We'll unplug that. belt driven here so we'll see if we've got a belt to fit that if we have we'll replace the bastard while we're in here oops right Ooh. what I want to know is there we are right there you go Jay well that is how you get the fucker apart mate with great fucking difficulty lad how about that one? Now, I need to find the, uh, I need to find the old belt. I don't know where the old belt is, I mean I can't see it. And I don't think it's turned into gunge. No, the motor's clean. So it hasn't turned into gunge. So, where the fuck's the old belt? I'll tell you what. Uh, oh shit, I've pulled that out of there, I hope I can get that back in. With them fucking buttons, let's pull that off there so I don't rip them. That's the fucking, there you go folks. There's your mechanism. Right. So what I can do now. Oh, I can put the mechanism down there for a minute. And I can... I can probably just 
I can move this to one side. There we go. And I should have enough room here now for to work on the mechanism. Right, and there's your, there's the shark VZ three thousand uh, vertical mechanism. And the main common fault on these was this gear here. It shears. You have to be extra careful with these because if you're not, you'll shear that gear. And once you shear that gear, you are pretty much in the shit. Now, now this should be pretty much like. Uh, This should be pretty much like servicing any other any other sort of turntable. I mean, I should be able to leave this board intact and just take the screws out of it, hopefully. There we go, and be careful. Because all this works and I want to reuse this, I want to... <coughs> I want to use this, I want it in my front room because it will be a talking point and I just know it will impress my girlfriend well I think it will now let's get rid of this and did all summer I've got to do this by the book there's no way There's no way I can make this any easier, so I can service it easier next time. <laughs> I've got to do it by the book. And there's no way I can do it to make it easy, any easier on myself when I come to do it again. It's got to be done. I remembered, you know, it all comes back to you. You know, a pain, a pain in the ass is seldomly forgotten. I mean, it would be nice if I could have an easier way of doing this next time. But I've got to... I'm hoping that... And I'm going to have to, oh they're soldered on, what a con. Uh, anyway, never mind, I might be able to just, I've got to undo that. You have to do a lot. I mean, a lot of these VZ3000s folks are actually still about, and a lot of them are still in good nick because of this problem. As soon as the turntable drive belt snapped, and they found out it was going to go, and they lasted well over the warranty. I mean, Sharp put a really good belt in to begin with. But once they found out that the drive belt was going to cost a fortune to be replaced, people just didn't want to know. And, you know, they just seen it as an expense that they didn't need. So that's why there's a lot of these about. And that's why they're in like, that's why they're like this, they're in really good nick. I mean this one's in really good condition for its age and the reason for that is because the drive belt snapped. There we go. And because the drive belt snapped that's how I've ended up with it. And that's probably how Jay ended up with it. But he's got the other one and he'll be able to do that one himself. But I think once he sees how I've done this, I don't think he'll fancy it. And to be perfectly honest with you. Get that back in a minute. Now, now, now this turntable. Now, I'm going to have to cut them fucking cable tyres off. I was hoping I'd get around that.
Good thing though, so they're the years old, so pretty much just snap. There we go. Now can I remove that board out of the way? I'm not desoldering them fucking wires, I don't give a fuck. There's no way on this planet am I fucking about desoldering them. That and that's all just to the controls, really. I mean, I didn't know that until a couple of seconds ago, but get them out of the way. I don't want any wires coming off or anything getting in the way or anything breaking. And now I've got to lift the turntable mechanism off. And I'm hoping that somewhere in here is a fucking drive belt, but there isn't, you know, so. The drive belt used to run along here. Right, so. I wonder if anybody could explain. Oh, that might be part of it. Yeah, yeah that's part of the drive belt, look, folks. A little bit of cack, part of the drive belt. Is that all that's fucking left of it? The motor's nice and clean, I don't need to do anything there, that's alright. Yeah, that's okay. The belt must have just fucking rotted and... Wow! But look at that, that's where your record sits. This will all get a good clean before it goes. Oh, and the bearing's beautiful. The bearing's beautiful, that can go back together as is. I mean, I might, I might, I will do a service on it as it's out. Whew. Let me just go and get a drive belt, folks. I'll be back in a, min a minute. I know where I can rob one. Oh, sorry, folks, I turned the video, I forgot to turn it back on. I'm going to have to pull this board back out. So I can show you how I put the belt on. Basically what I did. Basically all I did. I'm not doing it again. Because it was a bastard. What I did. I took these two screws out of here. Uh, these four screws from here. Two at the top. Two at the bottom. After removing the circuit board. You saw me do that. And you saw me remove the turntable. What I did, I turned, I moved the turntable out of the, from out of them wire, from under them wires, and what I did, I turned the turntable upside down, and I put the belt on all the way around, put the turntable back, and what I did then, I just fed it under the motor, and I used one of my little, uh, one of these to just sort of guide it in, and that's it. We're on. The belt's on. So, and all, and all I did then was put the four screws in, that's all you've missed. Put the screws back in the plate, the bearing plate, and I'm putting the turntable, the circuit board back on now for the turntable. So that's all you've missed really, you haven't missed anything uh, of vital or critical importance. You've just seen me, you know... But uh, at the end of the day, uh, this is really for Jay's benefit and, you know, for, uh, I suppose for those who want to do this as well. But I'll tell you now, folks, this doing one of these is not for the faint of heart. It's not, you know, you've got to, I'm not putting them fuckers back at me fucking arse and make it easier next time I change the belt because I'm not selling this. Uh, this is uh, going in my front room. Oh, where the fuck's that gone? That's another one that will probably never be seen again. Oh no, there it is. Yep, that's the one. But at the end of the day, folks, uh, these are not for the faint-hearted. You know, I 
and I'm hoping the turntable speed's going to be right but that doesn't matter because it, you can get to the adjusters uh, you can actually get to it because the adjusters for the 45 and 33 are just here so you can actually you can actually get to them so it's not a great issue that now there you go I need to find some cable ties I've got none but uh, I want to find a drive belt as well folks because I want to replace this one that belt's a bit fucking slack so I need to find a belt to replace that so we need to look in my collection of belts now, that should be easy enough to replace because all you do is take this air off and yeah it's just two and there are your switches it's basically folks this is just two two screws oh. and I'll put a belt on should be right if I've got one that is try and find one the same size now this should just lift I'm saying it should Am I doing the right one? I don't want to take, don't, don't want to take this one off here. I don't want to take the fucking motor off. I don't know. Uh, just hope that none of this goes out of line when I fucking undo it. Just hope it all goes back down. Yeah. So we'll take that off there because I'm going to clean. I'm going to clean all that. Make it run because it's got all fucking gunk and crap on. So try and find a nice fucking belt for it to fit. Just hope it all doesn't fucking spring out of line when I take this fucking lift this worm gear off. It shouldn't do. It should actually just lift off that. doesn't mm, it doesn't and I'll tell you why it doesn't because it fucking goes the length of that and I'm not taking all that off so it looks like we're taking the fucking motor off instead I'm not taking all that off I don't give a fuck so might even have to take the fucking motor off yeah it's, I mean you could the, the belt's fucked it's got to come off you no matter how you look at it, the bell's got to come off. I mean, it's fucking hard. So. There we are. Now. There we go. Look at it, you can tell that's fucked. Let's find one a bit smaller. We want one a bit smaller than the original because remember, the original is stretched. So you always go for one that's a bit smaller. And the other trick you can do, if you've got one that's a bit smaller, but it's a bit thick, if you've got one that's a bit thinner, then you can always, you can actually get round it and you can be cheeky and put two on. But uh, let's put my glasses on. I'm going to stop for a brew in a minute anyway, folks. But. Uh, you know this is really there's the there's the old one there's the old one we'll put it on top of wires for a minute and there's a nice and you know some you know the first one out the first one in my fucking hand out of the box it's a bit thinner than the original but It is a bit thinner. It's going to take some fucking getting that on there. Well, let's see what we can do. I'm getting thinner. 
we're on the pulley, well, we're on the motor. I want me dinner. Yeah. Hmm. Do you know what I'm thinking of doing? Do you know what I'm thinking of doing, folks? I'm thinking of giving up electronics and becoming a clergyman. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to feed that through there. Get it, I'm going to get it up onto the pulley there because that's the hardest bit to do. So I'm going to get that up onto there in a second. But what I'm going to do to begin with, I'm going to just see if I can unplug that and get a bit more room. I don't want to force it, so I'm not going to. But I'm going to, un I'm going to unscrew this here. And it should allow me to remove the motor. from and then let me ease the belt on and then slide everything back into place oh there we are look at that yeah we're okay there let's put that there so we don't strain the wires because the last thing we want to do We're on. The last thing we want to do is fucking do any fucking unnecessary arm. We don't want to do any, we don't want to get to a point where we have to do a repair that we didn't have to do. Oops. It just fell off now. You can't go through life with your rubber falling off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook that back on there, right, so turn that round because you can do that and then bring that under the oh, feels a bit loose that, but them belts are shit. I'll tell you what, that's a smaller belt than what was on there. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, it's a smaller belt. Than, I've used a smaller belt than what was there. Uh, I've gone for the small, slightly smaller one. There's nothing I can do about it. I'd like it to be a bit tighter than that, but unfortunately. But having said that, that is pretty much the right size. So, given that it's pretty much the right size. It is a bit small. Oh yeah, I hope you'll find that. Yeah. I'm having, I'm having a bit of luck this evening, folks. It's the second time I've dropped a screw and found it. Yeah. I'm really grateful to Jay giving me this, I really am. But, you know, uh, but it's great to, it's, it's actually good to do the extra work, it's good to do the work because basically when it all goes back together I can enjoy the fruits of my labour. I can be able to put a record on it and play it and enjoy it. Mm. Give that a turn, oh why? Yeah. I thought it was a bit on the slack side. No, we're okay. Let's make sure we're properly on the pulley, which I'd be surprised if we're not. We are. 
So we have our new we have our new drive belt. Uh, we have our new drive belt on our turntable. Just check that it's turning on the motor. It is. Yeah, look at that. And we have our new door drive belt as well. Now we can put our damper. Oh. Now we can put our damper back on. We can refit our damper. Just put our damper back on. Move them belts because I've got so I foresee a nasty accident. I've ended up all over the floor. I know there's a few fell out, but. I think I need a cup of coffee in a minute folks, but let me just get this together first, but really I was really happy with the fact that this was actually working and the radio was working, cassette was working, everything was doing what it should do except for the fact the record player wasn't, and I was really happy and I'd be very disappointed if I put it all back together and the fucker don't work, I'd be really upset, but I'm hoping, I'm very hopeful on this actually, and uh, I like to think I have got some modicum of experience when it comes to these matters. Now, there's these wires here that I do my head in. Uh, I've got no cable ties, which I had, but I don't have any cable ties, none whatsoever. And Basically, all I can do really is just leave them. Anyway, now the mechanism. Oh, folks, we've got an itchy nose there. Right, and that is both belts replaced in the mech. So now, basically. We can put the mechanism back down here on the floor out of the way for a minute. Put that there for a second. Clear the space. Now stuff I don't need immediately. I'm going to put in here things like the knobs and the feet and stuff. You know other things I don't really need right now on the bench. I'm going to put in here that I don't really need. Things I want things out of the way. That I'm, that was that. That's the old belt. I need the screwdriver, obviously. Need all, need all the screws, or most of them. Uh, I'm not putting them fucking things back in. Uh, they were a pain in the ass. Them fucking things. They can stay out. There's another fucking screw there. And there's another one that's fell behind there. So basically what I'm doing is going round, rounding up all the screws and we can get this thing back together in a manner that it's become accustomed to. And while I'm at it I want to sort the speaker wire out because I pulled the f fucking speaker wire. So while I'm, while I'm just so while I'm thinking, I'm just going to do this. Because I need the speaker. So I can test it when we're done. Really, what I should have done was fucking solder these on, but... What I might do next time it comes off and fucking solder that front end. The only reason why I'm not now is I can't be asked putting the fucking solder iron on. I, need, I do need these for testing, so.
pulled the fucking wire, didn't I? Like a dopey bastard. That'll do. There we go. Right, that's just all the shit I don't fucking need. Now, bring the cabinet back. There we go. Now. Right, and there's. Hey, look, folks. Yeah, look at this. There's a fucking drawing pin in there. No, look, look at that. Fucking drawing pin. Hey, look. Look at this, folks. There's a bit more of the drive belt, look. A bit more of the drive belt turned to cack. Right. I'll tell you what. I'm really, really, really looking forward to playing a record on this and enjoying it. You know, sitting here with a cup of coffee. Or maybe even a beer. See how I feel. Let's give it a bit of a, a, a wipe out. I'm not going to town on it. I'm going to get dusty again. Let's give it a blow out. There we go. It'll only get dusty again. I wonder if I should have. I don't think I've got a fucking, what do you call it? I haven't, I haven't got a bulb. I should really replace that lamp while I'm here. But the problem with that is. It's a dead small and I haven't got one. So. I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to go there, folks, because I haven't got one to fit it. So, but we'll just have a look around everywhere else. Everywhere else looks good. Even the tape transport in this looks immaculate. There's no dirt in it. You know, there's no dirty heads or nothing. It looks immaculate. <coughs> there we go. And there's the mechanism. Let's. Make sure we've got nothing near the turntable. No, we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Nothing's on, nothing's gonna brush against that, that's fine. Uh do I have any issues with plugging stuff onto the board? Well no, no, not at all. Uh put the that can go on last. What I need to do is line everything up and see if I can get a turn. Oh, that's easy enough. Why do I get the feeling this is going to be too easy? I like to get things in. Uh, and I don't think we're fucking in there. Uh, but oh, let's get this fucking top one in. Worry about the fucking bottom ones. The bottom ones should line up. Top ones are in. The bottom ones should just line up. And that one looks like it's fucking gone in cross ready. We'll pull that fucker back out. That's gone in. Right, so what we need to do is turn the whole fucking lot round. Yeah, that went in cross threaded that bastard. This isn't now. No, we're going in now. Oh, 
No, we're not fucking in there. I thought we were in, we're not. I'm going to have to fucking stand up. Well, that, eh? on that now. Yeah, we're in. There we go. Next one. in the <sighs> just check the turntable's not catching oh beautiful alright the next and final the next and final screw the deck in place, the mechanism. Now you know folks, any fucker who wants one of these repaired, you know why you're going to be charged a fortune if you have to do it. Because there's a lot of work. A lot of work in doing one of these and I hope I've done enough there for you, Jay, for you to uh, get an idea of uh, how to get the damn thing apart. If you get stuck, bring it to me, I'll do yours. You know, you're different, you know, mate. <laughs> do yours. And I'm going to throw that drawing pin away because it's going to end up on the floor and I'm going to fucking tread on it and I'm going to be in agony. Right. So now... Now we need to, now why do I get the feeling that I, I, I wish I'd have put the fucking, oh hang on, I need to put the controls in. Whoops. Okay, now that went up quick. quick. Right. Uh, need to put the controls in. Before I actually, right, which is fucking play. 33 and 45 it goes to the bottom. That clips into there and that can just go behind and go under there. Right, what I'm going to do before I actually reassemble it I'm actually gonna plug it, plug the fucking thing in. I'm gonna plug the cunting thing in. I'm gonna fucking test the bastard in thing. Make sure it fucking takes the record up and stuff. So close. Turntable's running. Yeah. I was playing that record, folks. Oh. 
what we'll do is just turn it off for a second. I just want to plug one speaker in just to so we can just have a quick listen before I put it together just to make sure that we're actually getting Start from the beginning, open, look at that, records already in, press play, it's winding up. Oh, where's the volume control? There it is. Arms on the record. I'm just going to pause it a minute folks because I want to adjust the speed, that's a bit faster I think. Right, let's go for the B side folks. Yeah, that's, that's, go for the B side. Yeah. seems to be working. Right. Let's try an LP. Let's try an LP. Let's give it a clean first. I normally like trying my test song but I ain't fucking about looking for a certain track on this record I'm just gonna go for make sure it plays an LP okay out I'll let you out in a minute out right that's louder than the other side <laughs> The other side is louder. The other 
size louder. Might be the cartridge. side on this is lower now I've gone and stopped it now. A lot of the wire reached to the speaker socket. Not that happy with that. Let's just stop. Let's plug that other speaker in. It seems a bit lower one side. During these nights, I take photographs. It feels like the closest I've ever been to finding that moment under the surface of things. The closest too that I've ever felt in understanding who you are. As if somehow these photographs also right. glimpse what exists in you. Play. That's even on both sides. B side. Sure it's a bit lower on the on this side than it is on the A side. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to look into that because I want it right. Going to all this fucking trouble, I may as well try and get it as right as I can. So I'm going to have a quick look at the pickup. And let's turn that off a minute. The way you get to the cartridge on these, to the stylus is you I mean you'd have to strip the machine well wow, whatever that is is fucking hot oh it's regulated isn't it it's transistors right you'd, you have to take this off to I don't, I don't know whether you have to, but I used to with mine. You can get at the cartridge you know, a lot easier. It could even be the stylus, it could be the cartridge, it could be the... But you can try changing the fuckers. I think there's a way of moving them into the middle. 
but that's not even pushed in properly that stylus. Let's have a look at the other one. Yeah, the other one's really pushed in nicely, but this one's not. I mean, you don't take the. I mean, you don't. I'm trying to work out how they used to come out. It's just unclipped, I can't remember. I can't remember I used to change the stylus in them, but I've got a feeling it's just a pickup because that's pickup, that can't stylus does not feel. It's not as close to the cartridge as what the other one is. And the other one's a lot closer. It's not in properly, that's what it is. I can't remember how you fucking chain, <laughs> changed them. Uh, let's just turn that on a minute. I think you moved them to the middle. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you move them to the middle, so you could change them. Oh, fucking hell! I think what you do, you. That's it. But basically, they're an audio technica. Yeah, well, audio, that's what you did, you moved them to the middle, they're an audio technica, and you just, you just clipped them out really, well, there we go, Let's swap them over, but I've got a feeling that it's probably the pickup, which is not a problem because they're an audio technical pickup that were fitted in these. And that's gone in a lot closer. And I think it's the fucking. Yeah. There we go. I think it's the I think it's the pickup that's at fault. I don't think it's the could even be the fucking stylus, I'll soon find out, because this one was the same on both channels. Oops. When you put your hand on the top, press it onto it, that's it. Now, let's turn that back on. And there they are, they're wandering back to the end. Let's put the record back in. Close it. That lid's going up lovely, in it now, folks. It's closing beautifully, in it. <laughs> That's okay. side yeah, it's lower on that channel but when I buzz it, right, 
let's stop that. Uh, let's stop that. Let's get that open. And now what I want to do, I want to try and make, I want to try and think it. I want to try and fool it. So I can have a good, because I want it right before I put it back together. It's got to be right because it can't go back together until it's right. And I think... How the fuck am I going to do that? I mean, it's not like... I mean... That's weird. I mean, I've got another cartridge, but... I mean, the cartridge can be changed with it in. It's not a problem. But... Now that should go to the end there. That's it, and it lets you it lets you replace the styluses. That's how you do it. That's how you do them. You have the door open, and you can get to the style that you get to the styli. But you can also get the cartridges out that way as well. Because there's a screw there, which I'm not going to do at the moment. But uh, there's a screw there and you can actually just unplug the cartridge. You don't have to, it's held in with a thingy, you just unplug the four wires so that can be done at a later date. But in all honesty, uh, to be perfectly honest with you folks, I listen to A sides more than I do to B sides so you know well, let's send them back but as far as I'm concerned that's look at that lovely A eh, folks I can change the cartridge if I need to at a later date, I haven't got one so, well I have, I've got one but it's in somewhere else and I don't really want to cannibalise somewhere else for a cartridge and why have I let that close, I need that open. That has to be open to go back in, I hope it can go back in with all, all assembled like this. Right. Anyway, folks, uh, so what do you think? You think I've done a good job? Or do you want to reserve judgment until it's all back together? Which is what I'm thinking about. Now, we've got the new belt on. We've got a new belt on the, dry, on the door drive. Uh, so the door now opens nice. Uh, I've got a feeling that uh, this has to be tilted. <laughs> Do you know something folks, sometimes I wish. Sometimes I, had some, sometimes I wish I had somebody else here with me. So I wouldn't, so I wouldn't have to spread myself so thin. Sometimes I just wish, I mean, what is fucking caught up on there? There's nothing caught up on there, oh yeah there is, the fucking lights for the VU meters, uh, the ribbon cable for the VU meters, but does that not fucking unplug? Oh, does it fuck it soldered in? One of them unplugged. Oh, yeah. Uh. Let me see if them VU meters unplug. Because if I can unplug them fuckers, that would make life easier for me. Yeah, they do. Let's push that in a bit. There we go. Yeah, the VU meters do unplug. Ah, oh, there we go. 
Well, that makes that makes life a bit fucking easier for me. Look at that. Right now. Now all I have to do. Oh, get down there, you. Is just pull. back out there there we go I think you're supposed to do this with it fucking lying down you know but uh, if anybody knows any different then let me know if you don't know any different we just want to stick your two pennies worth in you're more than welcome to fucking do that as well Right, so now it's a matter of just I fix that down there. Oh, it's a screw, it's alright. I'm gonna have to stand up anyway, I'm gonna have to lift the unit into the case I'm never gonna manhandle that sat down I'm a fat fucker and all we do is get it over the lips and then just very very gingerly and carefully let's get these fuckers fish these fucking screws out Gingerly and carefully. Where's the other ribbon? Oh, it's got fucking caught down. Oh, I don't say I've got to pull you back out. Come here, you fucker. The other ribbon cable's down there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's even get it now. There, come here, you cunt. Don't be fucking doing that to me, bastard. There we go. Right. Let's make sure that we're all, everything's poking through that should. Set door doesn't shut. Knobs are not poking through yet, but they will in a minute. Turn it around this way. Yeah, the knobs are not quite poking through, we're not quite actually in there. Right. Right, well, they're in, they're not. Uh, we're not. We're not in as far as we need to be, we need to. A bit fucking further than that. There we are. Right, does that shut down? Yeah. Them buttons are they working? Yeah. Them knobs don't poke all the way through. Does that shut? Oh, yeah. Right, well we appear. Look at hell folks, it's tough. Took something this hasn't it, but I'll tell you what, apart from it being a bit low in one channel, I don't understand why it's like that, but uh, the, the full might of the amplifier, you know, it's getting to the amplifier, so I think it's to pick up, to be honest I think it could be a fucking soft, a bit of a soft cartridge, but <clears throat> given that I only listen to fucking A-sides anyway, Right. Given I only listen to A sides, I ain't too fucking minded about it to be honest. Uh, but like I say, this was this video was made for Jay's benefit. 
but it will apply to anybody who's got one of these things and uh, has a mind to do what I do and take it apart and I mean it's I mean you can't call this vintage but to be honest with you I think it's worth saving folks I really do I think the stuff like this you know sort of modern stuff that a lot of the old radio guys won't go near I think it's worth saving some of it I mean these in the day this in the day was an expensive fucking item it, well, these weren't cheap these VZ 3000s they were about fucking three or four hundred pounds they were you know they were a pretty much why is that one not going in or has it gone in just no, no fucking bite on the thread I haven't stripped the thread off it because it fucking I didn't strip the thread off it because it fucking had none uh, I didn't strip the thread I do know but I'll tell you what come to me to get your VZ3000 fixed Oh, that's a fucking opener. That's to open the fucker, isn't it? Good job, I didn't try banging a fucking screw through that. But to be honest with you, I've not got a lot to do to it now. I mean, to be honest with you, folks, I'm really happy with it. You know? Screw doesn't go in there. One goes in here. I mean, I'm really happy with it. I mean, it's then two go in the bottom. Right. They've gone in there. We've got an orphan screw. One goes in here. I'm sure one went in there. We've got that one there. I'm sure one went in here. But I think that held the back. I think that one, one, one but yeah, that was one that goes on the back. Uh, let me have a look. Because we want to replace them where we can fucking see where they are from. I mean, there's, there should be a place for all the fucking screws. I mean, I've got to put one in that heat sink as well. Ah, here we are. I know the observant amongst you probably realise I haven't put the ribbon cables back on yet. But don't worry, folks. I know they're not on and they're on my to-do list. Don't worry, I will not forget them. Yeah. Yeah. And I just hope this is all nicely lined up. It should be. And I mean, I had to test that record player before I put it together. I didn't want to put it together and find it didn't work. I just hope I've covered it enough for Jay to be able to do his. Right, let's get these wires. Uh, get these. It's basically just an LED driver board, that, which passes a signal. All that is just another uh, primitive form of an LED. 
fiver. Now, the on off switch comes out the front like it should. Now, what I need to do now is get these fucking screws in the bottom. I hope they line up. I've got a fucking, I've got a few screws to go in the bottom actually, so I might as well put it on its side because there's a few to go in the bottom. But these ones have got to go in. Just hope it all lines up and do you know something folks? You gotta take it out off to the people who design these things, and they? I mean they go together nice and easy. They don't come up fucking part nice and easy. I mean it was a bit of a bastard. But look what I've got at the end of it. Got a nice VZ3000 vertical music centre. Basically, we need to work out these go on a certain way. <laughs> Believe it or not, these feet go on a certain way, and that's the way they go because they're slightly different. Slightly, ever so slightly, but enough to make a difference for it to be right or wrong. And you have to take all this out to get the fucking chassis apart. You cannot leave any of this on. I mean, you could probably leave these screws here. Oh, well, you can't if you want to replace the belt. You've got to take them off anyway. So while you while you're in there, and that foot's a bit broken. And I've put a bit of glue on that one. Where's that fucking screw gone? I've just lost a fucking dropped another screw. Hmm. Can't see where that one's gone. Get it, this drawer. Well, there it is. Landed on the drawer angle handle. I'm gonna make a brew in a minute, folks, and I'll tell you why, because I fucking need a brew. But I'm more content in getting this, I'm more concentrated in getting this together. So that I can show it you all. Doing what it was designed to do. I'll tell you what. This has been a bit of a long video. But. And. You know. It has been a bit of a long video. And I think I've missed a fucking screw out that went under there. I ain't fucking pulling that fucking foot back off now. Can do it next time I fucking repair the bastard in thing. Yeah, there's a screw that goes under the foot that I forgot to put in. Doesn't fucking matter, won't fall apart. I'm pulling the fucking feet off the bottom just for one fucking screw. Yeah. My shirt keeps riding up as well. Oh, come on, you fucker, don't you fall on the floor. Come on, you bastard. Oh, you cunt. Have you ever noticed that when you're at the back, when you're at the bottom of an item, it's harder to put the fucking screws in because you can't really, you can't really eyeball it. When you eyeball it and it looks right and it fucking tend to want it, ain't I mean, there we are. Now that's going in cross threaded. That's got it. That's it. You eyeball it and you think it's right and it turns out that it fucking ain't, but that's not the one. That's the machine screws in the bottom of here. machine screw it's a long one goes into here right where are we at now oh pardon 
pardon me. Now, if I remember rightly, we had some machine screws. Went in the bottom of the power supply. Let's turn this back the right way up because I can't fucking do that with that position. Oh, nearly dropped the fucker. Had the full weight of the music centre on me then. Yeah, we had this. We had these two here that have to go in. Machine screws and there was one left that was under that fucking foot. But you know, I'm gonna polish this up as best I can. Oh yeah, fuck. Where's that one gone? Not saying it looks like they've run out and I've lost one. Folks, me looks finally run out of lost one. Oh well. I'm not putting that one in, it goes at the bottom. Whatever that is, it's a load anyway. Right, so that's okay, that's okay. That's okay. We had nothing going into there. Because all this is all oh, this is right, there's no wires pinching. Uh, everything's as it should be. Uh, we should have two fun wheel bolts that go in the front. I don't know where this fucking, where that fucker came from. I'll tell you where I'm gonna put that. The fucking radio's hanging out. I'll put that fucker in there. I'll find out where it's supposed to go in a minute. But the radio's hanging out, so I'm going to stick that fucker in there. I don't care. The amp's got all the screws. Oh, I know where it might have come from. Yeah, that came out of the fucking amp. Yeah. Came out of the amp. You know, you can even plug a fucking, what do you call it, CD player and stuff into these. Eh? Really, really good machines. You plug a reel to reel into them. I mean, I don't know why they put, I mean, this was made in the 80s. I don't know what in the early 80s. Why they put RCAs, I don't know. Uh, they're the front wheel screws, or that's one of them. For the front, for the front glass. Well, plastic. Uh, where's the other one? Should be two of those. Uh, well, we've not lost one, have we? Oh, we haven't lost one of those. That's one of them. Where's the other fucker? Come on, you come. Just check my pocket. Might be fucking there. No, I bet I've lost the bastard. Bet it rolled off onto the floor. Oh, is that it? Oh, no, that's it. Right, they're the two fun wheels, so we'll put them there because we'll put the glass back on in a minute. Now, before we put the back on, get all these fucking screws gathered up, because they're all to go in the back. Get all these gathered up. Yeah, we've still got a fucking... Still got a fucking screw. A spare screw. Where that came from? I'll have a look round in a minute. Now what I want to do now, I want to put the knobs on. Lie down scraps. I want to put the knobs on. Right. Right, let's plug the speakers in while I can get to the back. That's, that's one. Let's plug the fucking power in as well. I can switch to come on in a minute. That's one speaker. 
Now the other speaker. Because I know I've got to sort the cartridge out on that channel. I'm not bothered about that. I'll sort that out. That's only the, that's only the cartridge. Because it's got to be because there's plenty. When you buzz it, there's loads there. So it's not like it's. There we go. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh. This has got to come back off to be polished, but for now it can go back on and I can check the alignment of everything, make sure that everything, oops, are we in there properly? Yeah, I give a fuck it how we are now. We won't put the screws in yet, there we go. Right, are we ready folks? Oh hang on, I'm not put the fucking knobs on have I? Fucking knobs back on. There we go. The knobs are not too crackly on this either. It's, you know, I've actually been lucky with this. It needs a good spruce up, but I've been lucky with this. I mean, I've not really, not really had to do anything. So basically, all these knobs should be in the middle. level knobs I'll tell you what you know I forgot to put that screw that I forgot to put that back in for the cartridge but that doesn't matter because you can do it from the outside and I think that is the base level there yeah make sure that we're in the center on each one we were and the most critical one which has to be in the center is the balance so let's make sure right well we're over one side there we go we're in the middle might mix in last but not least that's in the middle. There we go. There we right. And there it is, folks. My Sharp VZ3000 Vertical Music Center. New belts put on the record player. It's taken me a few fucking hours, but let's have a listen. Make sure everything works. Start off with the record. We'll start off with a 45 on the turntable and we'll press close. Come on, go up. That might be because it's sat a bit fucking wonky. in a second lad
Jonathan would be the would would be the, at the centre of it. Now, it's about a young uh, um, aspiring writer called Morris. With the both even on the radio. Um, we visit at different times in his life. Yeah. Right. Let's t let's uh, just test an LP. Just try it with an LP. Try it with an LP. I mean, I don't listen to B-sides that often anyway, so I can live with that. So. Don't stop. I think that belt could have done with being a bit tighter, but you just give it a slight hand. It goes up it's, and it locks into place, it's no problem. I like the way the turntable swings the other way when it plays a B. That's a cartridge. That's as good as I'm going to get it, folks. I've got, just got to give it a polish and put the back on. And uh, this going in my oh, just let me just check the cassette deck actually still works. I've not checked that since I had it apart, have I? Yeah, I think it's the. Uh, I think the reason why I think it's the cartridge for the low volume on the on that channel on the B side is the reason why is because the cartridges are fed. The, 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 they both go to the phono input, and there's just two cartridges connected to one phono input. And given that the A side's loud, I'd have to say that the. Uh, the problem with the cartridge. Oh, see what it plays. This is one of them big ones. I had one. Of, the last one of these I had, you know, it wouldn't play certain records if you could see through the record. Wouldn't play certain records. <laughs> like them cheap fucking K-Tel Ronco things. Let's pop 
pop this 45 in and you can't just press play, you've got to press close. But it, yeah. it sort of st struggles because it's got the front back on it now. But I'm not bothered about that. Yeah, there's the arm moving over to it. Click. Oh, hang on. I was on the outskirts of a little southern town, trying to reach my destination before the sun went down. The old CB. I mean, these were a good idea. I mean, if you want to listen to an LP on both sides, they were great. Today, I've been counting the many blessings in the family my dad raised. All the love we shared through the years has come back to me in many ways. And today, my mind flashed back to my childhood days. I recall my first day of school. And that's it folks. That's the Sharp VZ3000 Vertical Music Centre from about 1980, 1981, possibly 82. Repaired and working lovely. I mean, in all honesty, admittedly, I do have to open the door back up. It could have done with a tighter belt. But, uh, in all honesty, I think I've done a bloody good job and it's, uh, you know, the weight of the door brings it down anyway. It's just going back up, that's the issue. <laughs> you know, they sort of a bit, bit grunchy as well. But we press that. It's just the belt, really. I think it's just the belt's a bit... I think it could have been a tighter belt. But... You know, you just help it up a little bit. Once it gets there, it's, it's all right. Right, I'm going to sort my dog out, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And, uh, you know, more to come later. It's just a shame I didn't have a bulb to put in here. Uh, to light the radio, it's supposed to light up green down the middle of the, but there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, these are bulbs in here, I mean, uh, they're going to be a bit of a mission to get when they blow as well. But, uh, you know, because they put bulbs in them back then. Anyway, folks, there's a bulb under there as well. It illuminates the record or sort of. Anyway, folks, uh, thank you very much for watching, as I say. And uh, stay tuned for something else. There'll be something else along, I'm sure. Thanks for watching, folks, and more to come later. I hope you get a full... Uh, I hope I've done enough there for you, Jay, to uh, assist you in uh, replacing your belt. But yes, uh, they do have to come apart, and there's no other way around it, I'm afraid. You've got to strip them. Anyway... Thanks for watching and more to come later. Bye for now.